It's four in the morning. I'm so tired, waiting for my Uber. We got this. We got this. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. We are here at PAX East Boston. Took a very long flight very early <laughs> in the morning yesterday. At uh, I woke up at 3 a.m. It was an absolute nightmare. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to make it in time, but I did. And uh, the flight was very long, uh, a little bit uncomfortable, but it's fine. I just, flights sometimes do that. But, uh, yeah, we we finally arrived. <laughs> I'm so excited. And check it out. Look at my view up here. We've got, oh no. We've got the convention center just across the way here. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely incredible. Let's go. Officially made it to PAX. We are going to explore the show floor. Let's go. Walking around the uh, show floor here for a while now. Just checking out some of the general stuff. A lot of cool booths, a lot of cool games. Uh, I've got a few scheduled things to go to. So right now I am going to one of the developers to go check out Chernobylite. So we'll see how that goes. And uh, who knows, I might talk about it in my show video. I don't know what this is. I have no idea what I'm doing for this whole video. This is gonna be a daily thing. This is gonna be one big upload. Who knows, who knows? Just had an absolutely lovely conversation with Olga from uh, Chernobylite dev team. Uh, I believe she was the producer, and I definitely need to check out that game. It was super, super cool. And they, like, nearly their entire team was actually in the Chernobyl exclusion zone, getting the assets for the game going and like doing sound tests and all this stuff. It's such a cool, cool thing. So much going on. <laughs> I just don't even know like where I'm going. <laughs> I uh, had my uh, last few scheduled thingies going on. Um, Pretty cool, pretty cool games. Nice to talk to the developers and kind of do all the different stuff related to that. But uh, yeah, now my back hurts. <laughs> and I just wanna sit. <laughs> I'm thinking about going to get myself some dinner. Or at least a snack. <laughs> There's just so much going on. <laughs>
let's go on an adventure. Let's go uh, find some of our familiar friends. Some developers that you all know, or at least I know, <laughs> very well. Let's see, who is it? Who is it? It is... Dread XP team. It's the Dread XP. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome. It's Dread XP! Yo! <laughs> it's us! <laughs> what up? Oh my gosh, I'm so bad at oh, wait, vlogging. Wait, I'm, I'm like... Yeah! Oh, there's the camera. Yo! This is my best friend. <laughs> he doesn't know it yet, but he is. Uh-oh. Best friends? Already? Best friends. Done. Let's do it. Done and done. Max is closed. Heading off. Back to the hotel. Let's go. I'm so tired. <laughs> My legs are killing me. I swear, I need to bring uh, I need to bring some running shoes or like some like super comfy shoes next time. I usually do. I usually do, and I don't know why I didn't pack any this year. Oops. Long packs. See you tomorrow. Oh my gosh. Let's go. I feel like I didn't record anything. <laughs> it was just not any. It was any <laughs> interesting for everybody. I hope you enjoyed it, nonetheless. <laughs> oh, I had a good time. I had a, I had a, a good time. To the hotel. I can't be loud. I mean, I can be loud. I can do whatever I want. <laughs> no, I, I want to be respectful. I'm not going to show my uh, room number though. Keep boop. Let's get in here. Ooh, get that out. Oh no! Oh, it's so loud. Sorry. Sorry to everybody's ears. Oh. Oh, get this. <laughs> Ew. I just want to sit down. <laughs> it's been a long day. It's been a long day, and I still, I still gotta do stuff. It's only, it's only 6 p.m. It's only 6 p.m. <laughs> but you know what? It's fine. It's totally fine. I got somewhere else to be, like right now. Uh, post uh, convention and uh, oh gosh, I'm shaken. <laughs> I'm holding it in such a weird angle. <laughs> I got somewhere to be, um, and uh, yeah, that's gonna be fun. It's actually gonna be fun. It's like a it's like a PAX party type of thing. I don't know if I'm gonna film there. I don't think I'm gonna film there. Uh, we'll see. But uh, but on some real stuff, I uh, I've been feeling very self conscious. <laughs> I'm just gonna talk. I'm just gonna talk openly. That's what these vlogs are about. It's just me and you. And you know what? I got a stupid cut on my lip right here. I'm sure everybody's seen it in like the past few videos. But I'm so self-conscious of it, and it makes me feel really bad. <laughs> and I almost don't want to film myself. So I feel like the the vlog and all the stuff with Pax is like it's causing it's causing a damper on what I want to do here. And I shouldn't do that. And maybe me talking about it out loud 
is going to fix that, just being open about it. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> uh, thank you all for, uh, for watching. I don't know if any of this is going to be cohesive. It's probably going to be just pure chaos. And you know what? That's totally fine. Th these aren't supposed to be just these super, <laughs> super polished vlogs. I'm not Casey Neistat. I'm not Casey Neistat. The last vlog I did where I went to that Twitch thing in LA, I was just, I was like, I was like, yeah, I got, I got to do, I got to do the Casey Neistat vlogs. I got to do the Casey vlogs. And that didn't, that didn't, uh, that didn't pan out. <laughs> it just felt so cheesy. <laughs> I liked it. It was fun. It was fun to do that. And I, uh, I loved doing the edit for it too. Like finding like fun music and stuff. But, uh, yeah, it just, it just felt too cheesy. It felt too not, not me. Um, hey. <laughs> Oh, but uh, you, you want me to show you around my hotel room? Let me turn on some lights in here because it's it's pretty dark. It's pretty dark. <laughs> Hold on, hang tight. Oh my gosh, that light doesn't go to anything. Hold on, wait a second. Why does that turn off when I put it in the on? I'm confused. Anyway. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> This is the hotel room. Check it out. Over here, look, we have our beautiful entrance, entryway. Uh, over on the table here, I got my hats, water bottle, face masks. Hello, that's me. Um, that's also me. We have these two giant closets, or I guess one giant closet. Here's where I'm putting my clothes, got my luggage. And they're all like dark mirrored high. And then over on this one, we got our coffee machine and we got our whole little mini fridge with nothing in it at the moment. Um, bathroom is over here. I'm just gonna go right past that. Uh, yeah, we've got a, a little little lounge couch going on, which is kind of cool. Here's my backpack. Uh, over here, we've got my bed and my comfy shorts and shirt for bedtime. Um, face mask. This is where I got all of my, uh, I'm getting all my work done. This has been decent. Big TV, very cool, very nice. Got a bunch of junk over here because I picked up some stuff from PAX. And, uh, yeah, and then obviously there's a really cool view. Let me change the stuff so you can see better. But look at this, look at how nice it is. There's the convention center. I posted a couple pictures on my uh, Instagram, I think. And people were like, ooh, it's so cool. I was like, oh, thanks. We over there, we got, I think that's like the main downtown. We're in like the seaside district, which is I think a much newer, like up and coming area of Boston. To be honest, I don't know anything about Boston. It's my first time ever here. Um, so over there, that's like the dock. You can kind of see the water from here. Um, general downtown area. It's all real nice, like high rises and stuff like that. As soon as you walk over there towards those reddish buildings, literally everything is made of brick. And I absolutely love it. I love it. That's, uh, that's the, that's the Boston experience for you. But yeah, this is, uh, <laughs> this is the Jacob Forster experience, the Jacob Forster vlog for you all. Hope you all are enjoying this and, uh, yeah, we're just, we're just here. <laughs> Um, okay, bye-bye. <laughs> All right, day two. Day two of PAX. Here we go, here we go. We get to see uh, Trek to Yomi today, which is a cool game from uh, Devolver Digital. Yeah. Super stylistic. Really awesome. Um, I got a couple other things going on, but other than that, it's mostly just exploring the show floor, like usual. I'm just hanging out. So let's, uh, let's go on an adventure together. So checking out a lot of the uh, Magic the Gathering tabletop games, everything else in the physical game space, which is pretty cool. Um, there's a whole section and area 
So the packs are split off into two separate sections. We've got basically everything over there is the developers, the publishers, all of their cool games. And obviously we've got a whole arena going on over here with the new tournaments. There's a smaller section going on right now. Um, over here on this side, this is where all of the tabletop games and everything else kind of happens, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. But uh, I've got my meeting with Devolver in like 10 minutes. So I gotta go. <laughs> so I'll see you all there, probably do some filming, and I might interview them. those doors a lot more a lot softer I'm back in my hotel a lot has passed since I last was in front of the camera um, I had a lot of meetings uh, with some of the devs and just kind of hanging out and let me grab a chair here let me sit down for you all <laughs> But uh, yeah, decided to just kind of focus on all the stuff that was going on. Let me turn on a light too. Huh? Is that better? That's not too bad. Uh, lighting's not too bad. But yeah, decided to uh, go through and talk to Devolver. Uh, went ahead and hung out and checked out Trek to Yomi, which was awesome. Um, really, really loved that experience. It was very, very artistic, um, all in black and white. And it's like a hybrid almost not side scroller, but uh, hybrid 2D uh, kind of style, but occasionally you can walk in a 3D environment. I'll put some footage uh, in here in the video and kind of splice it in, but um, you kind of go around as a samurai and uh, I'm assuming you're like protecting your town or your city, uh, whatever, whatever the story actually is. Um, I didn't get too involved with it since it was just kind of a little demo experience. Uh, but very beautiful, very, very fun and very challenging too. Uh, very difficult kind of going through some of the enemies. Um, you have to do a lot of like guarding and parrying and attacking and uh, very, very well done. So I'm excited for that. I think the actual game should be coming out 
um, like this month. So that's really cool. Uh, checked out Demon Throttle, which was a really fun, uh, like NES style or inspired uh, bullet hell, like the ones that like constantly are going like upwards, like scrolling levels. Uh, one really cool thing talking to the devs on that one that they are uh, doing is it's a hundred percent of physical release. So they're not going to sell any digital copies whatsoever uh, to really kind of hit home the style of like owning like an arcade type game back from like the NES era. Um, that one was really fun, really challenging as well uh, as full co-op, which was really cool too. And uh, all, they're the same devs who did, uh, if anyone ever played Gato Robato, which is a Metroidvania um, where you are a robot cat or a cat in a space suit. And that was a, that was a fun one. I played that one a while back. Um, and then I played McPixel 3, <laughs> which was a really interesting, uh, it, it, it's like an absurd comedy I don't even know how to describe it, but it was like an absurd comedy experience. Um, people, you can look it up. I'll post again some uh, little little snippets that I took from the filming. Uh, but that game was developed by just one guy who was there at the show floor. And he was kind of sitting there and uh, explaining the game and just kind of talking about it while I was playing it. He was, it was so cool just because he was so excited about it and uh, just very... Yeah, he's just very, very proud of kind of the, the creation that he made. And I think it brought him a lot of joy to <laughs> see me laughing while, while playing through and having a, these absurd things happening in the game. Um, really, really funny time. But other than that, today was a bit more of a slow day for PAX, for me personally. Uh, yesterday was pretty much focused on walking the entire floor as quickly as possible and knowing where everything was with just like a couple uh, like scheduled uh, meetings. And outside of that, th that's pretty much all I did. I just, I just walked around like trying to figure out where everything was. Today, I went in a little bit later, it normally opens at nine, um, and just had those meetings and then just kind of, just kind of relaxed. <laughs> so that was nice. But I'm excited for tomorrow as we should be able to really just have a completely open schedule. Uh, I think I have one meeting uh, to play the World of Horror, uh, which is a really cool, really cool horror game. Um, I'm sure people have seen it, but I haven't yet played it myself. And yeah, just want, I'm gonna go check out whatever I want and just kind of hang out. But uh, a couple really cool things from the day was uh, I had a couple people run up to me and <laughs> Be like, excuse me, are you Jacob Forster? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> and they were so nice and so sweet. And it was so cool to have people who watch what I do come up to me in real life and be like, hey, this is so cool to meet you. And uh, I love watching your videos. And it's very sweet, very sweet. So thank you to those, uh, those of you who came up to me and hung out. Um, and a, a YouTuber that I enjoy uh, named Bob Wolf, he runs The Wolf Den. Uh, he, he was at the show, like as I was walking into the actual like event space, he was right in front of me and I was like, yo, is that Bob? <laughs> and I've interacted with him a couple times, like through discord and stuff. So I was like, yo, Bob. And he turns around and I was like, yo, Bob, it's Jacob. And he's like, yo, dude. <laughs> we got to talk for a, a brief amount of time before he had to go grab his, uh, badges for the show. But, um, uh, it's really cool running into, to people that I've, talk to, but I've never met in person. Um, that's the coolest thing about doing all of this right now. Um, Cause obviously I've been doing YouTube and all my content creation basically right before COVID hit. So uh, nothing I've been doing has been able to be in person. Um, so I'm very happy, very happy to be doing all this and to be hanging out and to bring you all along with me. I, I apologize if this is not the most exciting <laughs> vlog, but it is a vlog nonetheless. And it's something that I've been enjoying uh, just recording, even though it's not a lot of stuff, it's uh, just kind of little snippets from my day. Um, so yeah, <laughs> hope you all are enjoying it. And I can't wait to see you all tomorrow. <laughs> Later. Pax day three, everybody's going inside. Today is sold out. So there's a ton of people in the convention center right now. I though, <laughs> I'm on my way over to go get some uh, get some lunch. 
It's probably gonna go get myself a burger. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, just kinda hang out for a bit before my two o'clock meeting. Get to play, I think it's World of Horror today. Which is gonna be a fun one, but, uh, yeah, I'll see y'all inside. most packed it's it, <laughs> this is the most packed it's been Saturday's sold out very excited <laughs> to jump around here and go hang out see you guys around It is absolute insanity here right now. So many people. I'm on my way over to Eastbird Games, which is where World of Horror is gonna be. Also, look, it's Benji. From Tunic. Super fun game. Super, super fun. I, got, I, got a, I still gotta beat that game. I'm playing it on my own. I'm not playing on the channel. But uh, yeah, it's a good time. But we're off. We're here. We're gonna play some games. Head towards Devolver. Idea what's going on over here. <laughs> it looks like Bioware? Something to do with Bioware they got going on over here. But uh, I just ended up finishing up with the World of Horror uh, team and man that was awesome. Um, something that I really really want to play. I basically told them I was like as soon as I get home from, <laughs> from PAX I really want to go download and uh, play that for the channel so. Uh, you probably all are gonna see some World of Horror. It's still in early access, so they're constantly adding new things to it, but um, I loved it. It was a really, really cool experience. But uh, yeah, back to exploring more packs we go.
out at the Dread XP booth. Lots of great stuff from them. Obviously, most of you have seen. I've played so many of their games already. Uh, but they had a multiplayer version of Spookware, which was super awesome. Uh, I finally got a chance to check out Dread Delusion. I'm trying to see the posters over here. Uh, Dread Delusion is like, it very much reminds me of like Oblivion. Originally playing Oblivion back in the day on PC. Super, super cool. And uh, there's a extra kind of detail for mortuary assistance, so a little bit of an updated demo for PAX. Um, all of it's super awesome. So love hanging out here with the Dread X team and yeah, just here to play some more games for everybody. I love the whole aesthetic of the tiny build place. <laughs> I don't get it. Also, I'm loving all the, uh, the boxing. Everybody's trying to beat the next person. You can obviously see the <laughs> the giant spider behind me. This spider over here, which just looks amazing. I, I initially saw some of like the screenshots for it, and what's what's really always super cool. What you got to look out for is a game may not initially reach out to you just from like seeing a couple of screenshots or a couple like little details here and there. Uh, but after like seeing it in action, it reminds me of like something that you'd play like Super Smash Brothers, like with a bunch of people. Um, so it's just like a four player crazy battle royale kind of thing where you're all in an arena, almost like Worms uh, 3D and all the Worms games, Smash Brothers, it's on a 2D plane. But they're just going crazy, all of these people like grabbing guns and like blasting each other. It, it looks like a blast, it honestly does. So I gotta, I gotta try to check that one out for tomorrow, for the last day, but Attention. right now, the Expo. they're making an announcement. Expo closes in five minutes for day three. It goes from nine to six, but they always do have on the upper levels, like way up there, they have like more events and stuff till midnight. Usually that's where some of the uh, talking stuff. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what they're called. I'm so tired. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, I I'm curious to see kind of if I can go to something maybe late night. Uh, just kind of hear people talk and go throughout and do some of the stuff regarding that. Usually people talking about the games industry, talking about games development, uh, stuff I'm personally interested in. So should be should be really cool. I will say though. I still, <laughs> I still haven't gotten comfortable holding a giant camera and walking around and talking to myself in public. It's very bizarre. It's a little bit easier because I'm at PAX and it's like, there's a good chunk of people who are doing this as well. But uh, yeah, it's it's strange. Maybe, maybe, maybe the fact that I have a, <laughs> a content creator badge makes it a little bit less ridiculous because people are like, oh yeah, he's, He's a content creator, he, he could do that, it's fine. So that gives me, I guess, a little bit ease kind of running through, but 
it's still funny. It's still really funny to me. I don't know why. End of day three. Let's go. Nobody wants to take this thing. <laughs> oh, very bright. Cool. That was good. Got a lot done? Saw a lot of games? Made a lot of friends? <laughs> Did a lot more recording this time around. And you know what? I'm proud of that. Everybody's leaving immediately afterwards. It's great though, it's great. That's what it's all about. Yeah, I probably uh, hung out, had a few drinks with Kat, uh, and chatted with him for like an hour. You know, and uh, I got to talk to him and each other. All right, just got back to the hotel room. Day three is done, and uh, yeah, <laughs> had a good time. Had a good time. Now it's uh, time to get some dinner for myself. I don't know what I want to eat. I got pizza yesterday. Pizza was really good. Um, but I want to get something that's like actually <laughs> like Boston-ish. But I feel like I'm not going to find anything in my immediate area without like getting an Uber or something. I'm trying to stay very close to the hotel and not actually uh, take any cars or anything. Just go everywhere on foot. So I got to find some stuff. Got to do all that. Um, but yeah. PAX day three was great. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'll see you all tomorrow. Later. All right, it is the last day of PAX. We are here, we are here. Very excited, very, very excited indeed. It's kind of sad, I've been really enjoying this and I don't know if I want to leave yet, but uh, we got some more games to explore, more stuff to see. Happy to take y'all along with me. definitely a lot more calm today than it was yesterday. I don't know if that is because it's still early <laughs> or, or if everybody just left because Saturday was sold out. So I think Sunday is going to be a little bit more chill, a little bit easier to walk around, but we'll kind of see how this goes. I've got, uh, I think, just one meeting today. So now I get the opportunity to just kind of go to whatever booth I want and uh, just try out games, just try out whatever I feel like. So let's be good. Let's go. This is the greatest <laughs> PC I've ever seen. It pours you a drink. I love, I love the ridiculousness of this thing. This is great. PC for the alcoholics. You can use the There's no button to turn it off. It's like literally an SLB.
y'all, I used to love playing <laughs> League of Legends, and this actually looks pretty, pretty sick. I might have to check this one out. Eternal Return. But yeah, we're just walking around still. I'm mostly just kind of watching games on the sideline, not like personally playing them right now. I got so many emails prior to PAX to actually set up appointments. And uh, there's just some games where I'm like, uh, I don't need to set this up because it's just... Like, you get the concept of some of them, like, immediately. Um, but now I'm just kind of, like, sitting and walking around, like, <laughs> maybe I should have just booked all of these just so I had, like, somewhere to actually go and have a set schedule for myself. But roaming around is fun. It's good. Uh, I'm over here by the Finji booth talking to one of the dudes over here. Super, super nice. Absolute amazing games over here. Hey! So far today's been a very indies type of day, checking out some of the really smaller booths and checking out some of the games and just talking to cool cool devs and publishers. I've got a appointment with Martha is Dead a little bit later. Just kind of check out their game. I know it's already out, but I just figured I'd go check it out. Uh, but right now, it's food time. We're gonna go get a delicious Pokeball. It's gonna be amazing. Okay, we're headed off to Wired Productions. Gonna go play a little demo of Martha is Dead. See how this goes. Got some lunch earlier. Went to get some pokey from uh, one of the food trucks, and my goodness, <laughs> it's such a ripoff. <laughs> I ended up getting a like a spicy tuna bowl, and they had extra like avocado as a add-on for two dollars. And I'm not even kidding. It was like a tablespoon of avocado. <laughs> it was so sad. They're like maybe eight little squares of tuna. But uh, you know, it's getting me through the day. That's that's what matters, that's what matters. Okay, I just finished playing Martha is Dead and also... <laughs> <laughs> good uh, <laughs> that's gonna be a really really fun like just multiplayer mess around game I I didn't get to ask them but I'm assuming it's gonna be online multiplayer it was all on the same screen just like split screen basically kind of like Super Smash Brothers but uh, <laughs> that was great I had a blast with that I, I guess the Ste it's on Steam there's a demo available uh, that we just played so I'm gonna be downloading that and it should be coming out in the summer uh, for Martha is Dead, I had a, a good time with that one. Um, I'll be really honest, I, I've avoided playing the game because of all of the, I guess all of the hype and kind of news about the shock value of it, but actually getting to sit down with the game itself, it's clear that that's not what's being highlighted in the game itself. It's more of an emotional journey kind of going through it. Uh, the devs were very nice to kind of walk through it. And they were talking about how it's it's very unfortunate that that was kind of a highlight and a spotlight when the game released was everything related to that. Um, I might give that one a shot. The, the, the shock value parts were still pretty shocking. I'm not, <laughs> not gonna lie, but uh, definitely more, more of an option at this point in time. But in terms of what to do next, I got a few more hours here packed before it closes. I think I'm just gonna keep roaming around. Uh, just see what's out there. So, I'll see you all around. Incredible. 
everybody is starting to leave the convention floor. There's only about 20 minutes left until everything closes. I'm in a somewhat quiet area, so there's like nothing around me right now. Uh, but I had a great time. I had a really good time. This is a very productive last day when I didn't think it was going to be. Um, I, I, I already talked about some of the other games I played, but uh, I went to a couple other booths. I think I went to the Humble Games booth, and they have a really, really awesome game called Moon Scars. And it's very, uh, I guess, Metroidvania-like. And just the mechanics are great. The stylization of it was awesome. I just really liked a lot of different aspects about it. So I'm excited to put that on my list of games to pick up when they come out. It's not yet released, uh, but mechanically it felt great and everything was just awesome about it. Uh, but I'm kind of walking towards the exit right now. This is probably going to be the end of my filming journey, unless I decided to do some stuff on the plane, but it's such a hassle. <laughs> so, so yeah, this is probably the last you all are going to see of me. Maybe I'll be in my hotel room, but uh, this might be the last of it. So, we'll see you later. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> Finished packs. Four days. Let's go. <laughs> farewell, farewell, convention center. It's been good. It's been nice. I had a blast. I had a blast walking around, hanging out with people, checking out games. My first ever in-person giant expo event since doing content creation. I've been to like real small, like little things. Um, but this is the first time I've been to an actual one of these as a content creator. Because I've been to E3 and a bunch of other conventions like way back before COVID. Um, so I'm just so happy to finally be able to be here and check out all this cool stuff. And just kind of be in the mix. Uh, and just to be able to connect with a lot of people, which was cool. So it's super, super awesome to see like these different developers and kind of their different games and hearing them talk about it, hearing them being excited, actually meeting people that I've been talking to on the internet. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's, a, it's been a great experience. Um, now I have to stress about <laughs> packing everything up. Uh, I'm leaving tomorrow morning and I don't know how I'm gonna fit my stuff back into my <laughs> luggage. <laughs> So, that's going to be wild and wacky. It's going to be great. It's going to be a wonderful time. I'm going to sleep so much <laughs> when I get home. It's going to be great. But, uh, but yeah, until then, I hope you all enjoyed this vlog. I hope you enjoyed my look through packs and kind of all of these details. Day four was a success. Day one through three were success successes as well. Um, but, yeah, that's it. I hope you didn't mind all the <laughs> shaky cam. <laughs> but I can't wait to uh, yeah get this up and see what people think about it all. Oh, hey, just wanted to jump in here real quick at the very end. Uh, obviously, I'm back home now, and I uh, just wanted to say thank you all for, for being so supportive of me, uh, kind of going out to this event, and uh, the patience as well. I, I know I didn't upload as many videos while I was at the event, and everybody was so kind being like, we can't wait for you to come back and uh, wanting to be able to be supportive while I was kind of out on this event. I, I I had such a blast. I know I said it here in the at the end at the hotel, but um, it, it was such a such a fun trip for me to go on. And um, I, I really do want to say thank you to all of the developers and all of the publishers and all the people that I met there. Um, there were quite a few games I didn't end up getting footage for just because of craziness and just other things that were going on. Uh, not every event was in a like behind closed doors kind of situation where I could be comfortable filming. filming. Uh, a lot of them, it was just kind of on the show floor, talking to a dev or a publisher. Everything was super loud and super insane. Um, so there were a few games I didn't get a chance to actually film or kind of do a lot more stuff with it. Um, and on top of that, like, <laughs> as I mentioned in so many parts of this video, this was just so chaotic <laughs> and my filming was just not great. <laughs> I need to invest in a steady cam. I need to like have a, a like start to finish that I want to do with it. 
Uh, but for now, this video is basically just like just documenting my day, like ha like highlighting and filming like little tiny pieces of games or set pieces or just just walking around the convention. Uh, so I, ho I hope I hope this is something that you all enjoyed. But and of course, too, I almost the entire time that I was hanging out there, um, the Dread XP team were literally the coolest people. <laughs> I hung out with them so much outside of just at the convention. Like we would go like grab drinks afterwards, go hang out and just have a great time. Um, I, I already love all the games that come out of the Dread XP team and just being able to meet all the people that work there, all the devs that were there and getting to see the new projects. Uh, as I mentioned in the video, there's the Spookware multiplayer, there's Dread Delusion, there's a new demo for uh, Mortuary Assistant, and, and a bunch of other cool things that were going on for, for the Dread XP team. But uh, it, it, was a, it was a blast hanging out with each and every one of them. And um, they they were they were truly my friends throughout the most of the convention, which was which was really cool. Uh, so I'm excited. They have Dread X Collection 5, I believe, is coming out uh, sometime soon. So looking forward to that here as well. Um, yeah, I just wanted to interject here real quick uh, and say hello. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Thank you for sitting through all of this. And uh, if anybody has any concerns as well, um, I know a couple of people reached out to me about uh, potential COVID uh, outbreaks that happened at the event. Um, there were a couple booths that sent out emails after the fact, letting us know, hey, you should probably go get tested because we had a couple people that tested positive when we got back home. Um, I did do a test and luckily I am not positive for anything. Uh, I took a couple tests, so that's been great. Surprisingly feel great after the convention, didn't get a cold or a flu or anything of that nature. Um, but yeah, <laughs> thank you all for watching. I'll leave it back to myself. But thanks for being here. You all are awesome. You all are amazing. And I can't wait to see you all in the next video. Later. Ha, 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 ha.